We're Madrola. And this is Friend Watch. We are Globus. So this is Stria. And we are Unwind. This is a story about Jimmy. Two years ago, he was involved in a near fatal car accident that left him without his vision. Now he suffers from a problem 39 million other blind people face the problem of veering. So this is Stria, an assistive waistband to ensure a safe walk home. As three girls experiencing the pressures of high school, we know that our friends need some way to de-stress and we have the skills to make it. What started out as a solution to a problem within our community has opened the doors for us to help 6.3 million teens in the United States living with anxiety disorders. We developed Unwind, a product to help put pauses in your day and allow you to recenter yourself. Here's the problem. One in four female undergraduates report being sexually assaulted. We care about this issue not only because we are young women approaching the post-secondary process, but because of a recent event that I'm sure you are all aware of, the Brock Turner incident. After the story went viral, we started thinking of ways that we could solve the issue ourselves. Our app automates the process of sending a check-in text and allows you to help keep your friends safe. Jimmy is blind and he was walking down the street while it was dark and raining and he got hit by a car. Glovis is a 21st century cane that is helped to the blind navigate and be noticed and navigate the world pain free. Our solution is a durable, modular and secure semi-permanent living system designed to combat homelessness in the Bay Area. We have a very special panel here with us tonight whose backgrounds range from healthcare to technology to business. They'll be asking our teams the really tough questions, just as they would to any venture walking through their door. The goal is to help high school students use the design thinking process to invent products with a social impact. One of the main aspects is the concept of human-centered design, or designing with empathy to make sure that we understand our users and their real needs. Today, only 2% of the $85 billion in venture funding goes to female founder teams, and only 19% of engineering students are female. If you look at our teams tonight, half of our teams are all girls and 50% of student members across all teams are female. The teams that you'll hear from tonight aren't just dreaming about doing good, they are doing good. The teams you're going to hear from are in constant contact with their users and the broader communities around them to maximize their positive impact. When I started teaching two years ago, I learned how incredibly powerful invention education can be to teach much more than just making. It's a way to teach confidence, agency, teamwork, empathy, and so much more. Students get a chance to actively tackle real problems in their community and do so in creative, impactful ways. Through this work, we're giving students the confidence and skills to be the next generation of entrepreneurs, engineers, and change makers. 